What's up guys, I'm at CES, and you know I had to stop by the Himaway booth because they make cool bikes. I got one of their, their bikes. But uh, I'm gonna let Todd introduce himself and tell him what, tell us what you got, man. Hey guys, my name is Todd, I'm with Himaway Bike. Um, exciting new stuff for 2024. We just uh, actually have released these to the public starting on Tuesday, so they're not online yet. Nice. Um, you guys are getting the first look at this. <laughs> so we'll start right here with the family series. We have the C1 bike, which is a kid's bike. Um, it does not have pedals, so it's gonna be more of a balanced bike. Uh, one of the bigger batteries in the market for this size of a bike. It's got a 350 watt rear hub motor, a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery, hydraulic brake, as well as uh, three different modes for speed. So uh, three modes up to seven miles per hour on the first mode, 13 on the second, and then 15 is gonna be the max speed on the third mode. Yeah, it's just for little kids. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So that's the first one. We actually launched that back in November and sold out in December before we before Christmas even started. So um, we have more in stock now, so they are available through our dealers as well as online. Um, we have our new C3, which is gonna be our cargo bike. So nice. something that uh, we, we are hitting the market this year that's completely new. Um, most of our bikes are gonna be all redesigned, no more OEM frames and all of that. So we're doing our own design work, our own production, manufacturing, um, which allows us to set ourselves apart from all the other brands out there, which we know over the years have just gotten out of control. So um, 20... Hey, you guys grown a lot. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So from when we launched in America in 2019 to now, yeah, we've, we've definitely grown a lot. Last year, uh, we, we didn't come out with with really anything new and that hurt us and so this year we're gonna try something different we're upgrading a bunch of the older bikes dropping prices um, increasing dealer margins we're really trying to be competitive this year um, we have a name for ourselves already so this should just help kind of uh, launch us into this next season Nice. Okay, um, so back to the cargo bike. Yeah, so you have a 20 amp hour battery, which is going to be standard on a lot of our other bikes now. Hemiway is known for their long range. So they're 21700 cells, they're Samsung UL certified, uh, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. So you're looking at 60 to 80 miles per charge. Where's that? It's right here, right? It is, yeah. So this one is a little enclosed. So you have a plug in directly right here. Um, trying to remove the battery on this bike is going to be a little bit more difficult because you have the encasement on this. Oh, okay. um, the other ones are very easily uh, able to remove from it and charge them off of the bike. This one is going to be more, it's going to be easier to charge it on the bike. Just um, it absolutely, like correct. A, like a absolutely, a yep. Um, so we have our 20 by 3 inch tires on this. Um, a lot of our other bikes have the 20 by 4, so we actually decreased that a little bit. Um, we have that front basket, the rear rack. We're going to have a bunch of different componentry uh, that you can add on, like child carrier, foot pegs, etc. So you can actually take a kid along with you. Um, so that is kind of the C3 series. The C5 is going to be that little motorized guy up top. This one right here. It is, yeah. Wow, that's so. Cool. Uh, that's a 20 amp hour battery again, 48 volt, 750 watt rear hub motor. Uh, we are going to be using a torque sensor on that as well as the C3. So we're, we're improving our sensor since we know that there's a huge demand for torque sensors now. Um, we're still going to carry some cadence and allow the customer to choose between whether they want a cadence or a torque sensor. So we're let's, not going to completely get it. Awesome. Let's go on that side and sure. Get a closer look at it. Talk about those forks, are those Those are gonna forks? be, nope, those are gonna be your inverted air forks. Air forks. Oh, and wow. if you are familiar with like our Cobra Pro, we had inverted oh, air forks yeah, on those yeah. before. These are gonna be the upgraded version of that. So you actually have a more durable uh, design here with that crossbar. It's gonna be super smooth. Um, I, I was riding it around here earlier and, <laughs> and it does not stick at all. So uh, the 20 by four inch tires on here, these are actually made for Hemiway by Kenda. So oh, you wow. actually see our logo now designed in the tread. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I guess Definitely. These are, these are like street biased, right? It yeah. is, yeah. I mean, it would still be a little bit more of an all-terrain because of the, the tread depth. Oh, all-terrain. Um, yeah, yeah. But you can use it on or off-road, whatever you want. Um, you do have a rear shock back here as well. So it is a full suspension bike. Um, and we also have the hydraulic brakes on this as well as the 750-watt rear hub motor. 
That's cool. And then I see you got a little cargo space. You here. do have a little basket here, and then also you have a cup holder here. So the production actually is going to be coming with a Hemiway cup and it has a magnet on the bottom, and then there's a magnet in here as well. So when you put it in there, it's gonna stick there. It's not gonna fall out. I like this seat, by the way. It's super comfortable. Yeah. Um, it allows you to ride back here if you're a taller rider. Um, I'm six foot, and I can ride this bike without any problem. I would wanna sit back a little bit further. I know it's probably hard to see the size in the video, but um, like I said, I had it down here, and I was riding it around, and I didn't have any issues. So um, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be at least what? So $22.99 oh, is going to be the retail price, and it's going to drop uh, here next month. So we're going to actually have these available to dealers first, um, and then we're going to launch online. So if you want any of these new bikes, I would look at your closest dealer, um, as they're not going to be on the website for HemiwayBike.com until later. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. I'm loving this thing. Man. It's That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we have a few colors. We have a camouflage color of this coming out. This is kind of more of like a paint splatter, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and they're hydro dipped as well. So it's not a paint. It's it's. If you're familiar with the car, uh, the Cobra or the Cobra Pro, they are also hydro dipped as well. So what do we got here? So here is kind of going to be the the new upcoming Rambler Premium. Um, it's called the A7 Pro. This is gonna be a full suspension step-through bike. So you so you have your, your rear shock here integrated into the frame. So if you want to actually have a, a full suspension bike without having to put an NCX Suntour or whatnot to raise that seat up, you can drop that seat all the way down, still have your suspension. Um, 500 watt mid-drive motor, 120 newton meters of torque. It's gonna to be the same 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, 21700 cells in this as well. Comes standard with this ABIS lock, as well as this MIK rack. So these are just upgrades that are coming along with it. Nice. Um, and then your display right here is now in the stem. Oh, so yeah, yeah, pretty sleek. Um, you got your hydraulic brakes. It's just, uh, for this price point, it's gonna be $23.99. This All is right. a beautiful bike too. Thank man. you. Wow. So yeah, we're pretty proud of this. This is, if you guys have seen or followed Hemiway, it's gonna be the Zebra step through. Um, we have a step over version as well. Uh, this is gonna be the mid drive version. It is going to retail at $19.99. So uh, mid drive under 2000 with a 20 amp hour battery. Um, same, you know, rear rack and tires and everything as our old one. We did upgrade actually the uh, the neck, so it's an extended neck. You can move that adjustable, um, and then also our display right here. We finally upgraded to the KDC 718, so now you have a color display. Um, you have a bunch of different options that you have standard on this now. That's pretty awesome. You guys are offering a mid drive in the two thousand dollar range. Absolutely, yeah. So we're actually coming out with our uh, zebra step through as well as our step over in a torque sensor hub drive uh, that's going to retail at $17.99 and then we will be dropping the price of our cadence sensors but i cannot divulge that price yet <laughs> um, early, yeah. it is a little early very cool i love it awesome yeah yeah okay, yep. let's go over there this is what I'm talking about. I know, about. this is awesome. So <laughs> I, I currently ride a Cobra Pro myself. Um, I'm a little disappointed that I have the older version because this new version is gonna retail for the same price as the old one, $39.99. But wow. this one, I will go over all of the different upgrades. Oh, so, yeah, so, so, so slow. all right, okay. <laughs> so the, the biggest upgrade to this is going to be the new inverted air forks. Um, we had that on our older version as well, but these ones now you can see are gonna be much much more durable um, so these should hold up under you know extreme mountain biking a lot better than our old ones did so we went with that we upgraded the the hydraulic brakes to Tetro Dorado they're going to be a quad piston rather than our dual piston so better stopping power um, on top of that your rotor right there is going to be a 203 millimeter rather than the 180 so we upgraded that as well um, coming back on the bike uh, you do have a little dropper seat here, um, so that's going to come standard with it. Is it like manually? It is manual, yeah. So as you have that, and then you can come up with it as well. Nice. It's a nice upgrade for, like I said, same price as the old one, but you're getting all of this new stuff. Um, upgraded rear shock as well. Um, so 
we, we actually downsized the chain ring right here down to a 30 tooth rather than the 44. Um, you still have your 1000 watt M620 Bafang Ultra on there. Same 20 amp hour battery, 48 volt. Uh, we did upgrade the, the rear derailleur to the new Shimano Qs, which is gonna be three times as durable as the old one. So it's just gonna be a lot more rugged, able to, to hit that terrain hard without having to worry about any of the components failing. Um, the size of that sprocket. It's huge, right? That's something that we did as well. So <laughs> the older one was, I want to say an 1134. Um, I believe this is going to be an 1148. So you're going to have a much higher range of, of gear ratio and yeah. lower as well. So you're going to be able to climb that steep mountain, whatever you're looking for. It's going to be super torquey. That's awesome, man. Beautiful. Very cool. And then again, what was the price on this? So this is going to be $39.99. We are upgrading our old Cobra. So same kind of frame, same full suspension, all of that. We're actually going to be changing the, um, the rear suspension and front suspension of the old Cobra. For the new Cobra, it's now gonna have the Cobra Pro front and rear suspension. So everything's getting a revamp, everything's getting upgraded, price point staying the same. Love it, man, that is so cool. All right, now we're moving up to the carbon fibers. All right, so right here is going to be our newest mountain bike. Um, it is going to be full suspension, rock shocks, front and rear suspension. We have quad piston, hydraulic brakes, 203 millimeter disc rotors. We have the 500 watt Bafeng M600. Uh, that thing has 120 Newton meters of torque. It's got a 15 amp hour battery. Um, right here, this is a promotion or a prototype, excuse me. So right now it shows your display right here. Uh, the production is actually gonna have the display integrated into the frame right on top. Um, what else do we got? We got a, a great SRAM uh, derailleur and cassette and brakes, all of that. So our group set that we're using are pretty high end. This is gonna be probably around $49.99 or $59.99 retail. Um, and then the one right next to it is just going to be the top dog of them all. I mean, oh, we went, are sure. These, are these tubeless? They are not. So you have tubes in these. You can run tubeless if you wanted to change it over to. You can, but right now they are tubed. Okay, so now we got... This is, I mean, the best of the best. From front to back, everything on this thing is upgraded. Um, it's probably going to have a really small market, but it's going to be for those who really want to show off to their friends and just have the best of everything. Um, those front forks right there are worth $2,000. Uh, the rear shock back here is over eight hundred dollars oh. you have your electronic gear shifter back here so no more shifting cable um, oh, right. yeah, it, it's great. just yeah. sleek it's it's a uh, 48 pounds or so it's full carbon fiber um, it, it's just the top of the top let's say back up He's saying, sure he said 48 pounds. correct Man, absolutely wow. yep that's light. Yeah, 15 amp hour battery as well. But yeah, 48 pounds is, is super light for an electric bike. Most of them are going to be, you know, 70 to 90 pounds. So yeah. um, I know it still sounds heavy for mountain bikers who don't have electric bikes. But for an electric bike fully, you know, uh, option. Yeah, I mean, fully developed. It's just uh, yeah. top of the line, everything. 48 pounds is just a, is, is awesome. That is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if I missed it. Um, what was the size of the motor? So it's a 500 watt. It's an oh, M600, watt. correct. It's a Bafang M600. It's got 120 Newton meters of torque. Okay, so, you know, you're the expert. Sure. So let me ask you this. I noticed that that's kind of like the trend, 500 on these. Is there a reason why it's 500? So a lot of trails and stuff are going to be limiting people to like class two riders. When you put a thousand watt motor on it, it's now a class three. Um, however, it's also carbon fiber. So if you had 160 Newton meters of torque on that thing, you'd probably twist it. Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. So uh, I guess the other question would be is uh, because of the, the new rules and stuff with trails, mm -hmm. throttle or no throttle? 
M600 on all the other bikes that we use them with have a throttle. So I'm gonna say it has a throttle. This is a prototype version. It doesn't show it on here for the throttle, but I'm guaranteeing you it will have a throttle. If you wanna unplug that throttle and make it a class one, you can. That was um, my next question was, is it'd be nice if you could just unplug it. You absolutely and, can, yep. Uh, okay, because I live, I live near Tahoe. Okay. And I get that a lot from the non -e Absolutely. Guys. They're like, hey, you're not supposed to be up here. And yeah. Start doing, you know, checks. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, who are you, the cops? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. really cool, though. So um, one more time on the price. What was uh, this one is probably going to retail at like $13,999. Yeah. And as crazy as that sounds, that's actually kind of like the market for these. I mean. I've seen Specialized and Trek and all those other guys. Or other non-electric bikes selling for that oh, same yeah. cost. And yeah. so being able to add all the electronics to it and still being around the same cost, it's just a, a no-brainer. That's that's a value. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And then uh, since I got you, sure. Uh, what's the warranty on your guys' bike? Two-year warranty on parts and labor on the bikes. So uh, if you buy it from a dealer, the dealer will cover it for the two years. If you buy it online, we have an online department. You can also take it to an authorized dealer and we'll absolutely get it taken care of for you as well. And, and for the record, I have a Himaway Cruiser. Uh huh. Never needed any issue. I mean, it has no problems at all. I, sure. I beat that thing up too. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're yeah. definitely built well. They're built well, like it's built like a tank. Absolutely. Cool. So is that everything here? That's everything here. We're gonna have more bikes released later on this year, so stay tuned. There we go. So let's end this uh, with a website if guys want to learn more. Sure. So uh, if you go to www.hemiwaybike.com, you can check out all of our new bikes. They'll be released on our website in another month or two after they're already in dealers' hands. There you go, guys. Check them out. Him away.